Hi, I'm Trevor Conkergood. Welcome to this week's RNK Software Club's video of the week. And the topic for this week is learning to use the text tool. And so this video will be of interest to any person who has Floriani software that includes the text tool. Um, and that said, that could be FTCU software, uh, Total Quilter software has a text tool, Fusion software has the text tool, of course, Lettering Master has the text tool, and even Floriani Rainbow includes a text tool. Of course, Floriani Rainbow would only give you four letter styles, whereas owning FTCU has, um, you know, closer to 300 letter styles, and FTCU has way more lettering capabilities. It is really the kind of Cadillac for our embroidery people, and, um, so what we're going to do is uh, learn about the basics of text. And so I'm just going to move my workspace over to get started and click on the text tool and point out that there's a variety of text tools that are available. And um, with FTCU, you'll have the first six of them. So you'll have horizontal text, circular text, vertical text, text along a path, monogramming, and import true type font artwork. This last one here is called Create a New Font, and that's actually something that's specific to Lettering Master. And I won't be covering that today, but I will make a video that's about creating new text for Lettering Master people um, at a later time. Um, as it is, today's video is kind of already going to be broken down into like a two-part series about learning about text, because today we'll kind of go through the basics, and then next time we can come back to some of the more advanced things like um you know the font importer or um converting the true type fonts into embroidery and this kind of thing so i really just wanted to um do a good job of teaching how to use the text tool it should be of interest to all people even power users should get some tips out of today's and the follow-up videos um, on text that said if you're brand new i'm sure you'll love this Okay, so when I click on the text tool and I select horizontal text and I come over on my workspace, notice the little letter A on the cursor. That means I'm in text mode and it wants me to click to tell it where to place the text and it will start with whatever letter style I most recently choose, uh, worked with, which was a true type font. Uh, so I'm going to uncheck that and go back to my Floriani fonts. And so what I'm telling you is... Um, it'll always use whatever letter style you most recently used. Now you can change the letter style by just choosing from a list like this and whichever one you choose and click apply, the software will update to have that text. And so notice that it puts down the words my text, but you're not meant to embroider the words my text. You're meant to come up to your properties box and change the letters to be whatever ones that you want them to be. And so now it says Trevor and I'll click apply. And so you always have to click apply to see your results or hit enter on your keyboard, I guess. But I can now with the properties box change things like the height of the letters, um, the spacing of between the letters. Um, if I add an extra line, so watch, I'm going to come to the end of the word Trevor. I'll hit enter on my keyboard and now put in conquer good. And so if I click enter or oh, enter won't work in this case because it's the I'm in the text box, so I'll have to click apply. Um, but normally times you can hit enter. Like for example, if you're just changing the font, you can scroll down, change it to Andrew and hit enter and it will update the font. Um, all of that said, um, notice that um, there are little handles over top of the letters. And that tells me that I'm in the edit text mode. Um, notice if I zoom in, little blue handles, uh, if I grab on the handle for the R, it will move all of the letters after the R. And so if you grab the handle between the E and the V, it will move the E and the V further apart or closer together. A gold handle allows you to select that one letter and move it individually of all the rest of the letters. You can make your own unique and interesting kind of uh, lettering arrangements if you want to in this way. You can even make one letter bigger than the rest of the letters by grabbing on a corner handle of these while they're selected like that. And you can even rotate that one letter to be a sort of unique and interesting positioning. And um, so in this way, you can create your own very kind of customized lettering arrangements. Um, but generally speaking, you click on your text tool to get started. You click on your empty workspace to make a new one. It puts down the words, my text. Um, I'll put in here, Trevor loves FTCU and click apply. 
So now I've got um, two lines of text. Notice here where it says line spacing, it says 25% of the letter height. If I make it 50%, that'll give me more line spacing. Um, notice here where it says spacing, it's talking about the space between the letters. Unlike when you use the little blue and gold handles, this will just mathematically put a certain amount of space between each letter. So if I type two, it spaces them out a little bit. If I type in five, it'll be spacing them out further um yeah and so this is kind of the concept you can change the alignment from left right and center and so if i left align everything then they'll both go to the left side center or right slant that'll give you i'll put 10 in the slant box it'll give me almost like an italicized look to the letters um, so this is the concept and you can click on this letter style box here and scroll through all the letter styles that you have and notice that it shows you what they look like in a little box and it says ABC in capital and ABC in lower and that tells me that this font has both upper and lower case um, because you'll find some that when you mouse over uh, that will be all ABC DEF and so... Um, uh, I'm looking for one that so the the also while we're scrolling through notice the little symbols to the left of them and those mean something and so I'll tell you about that in a moment as well um, but so uh, for example where's one that's all upper K so again upper lower Caroline upper lower um Sorry, I should just remember what the ones they are. Amber is all uppercase. It does not have uh, lowercase letters. And so if we type in... Actually, so it has upper and lowercase, but it's going to display them all in uppercase because notice it says ABC, ABC like that. Um, and what you'll find is that there are some that even have ABC. Let me think now. Come down here. Um, here's one A, B, C, D, E, F. So what that tells me is there's no lowercase at all. And if I try and do this T, R, E in that circus font, um, it only gives me the letter T because the other letters in that font were lowercase. And so um, they just simply get left out. So be careful. Um, if, if, if you hover over top of the letter display, it will show you information about your text. And so let's go back and select kind of one of the basics ones like Anna. And then um, notice when I hover over it, it shows me it comes with all this uppercase, all the lowercase, all the numbers, all kinds of punctuation. It even has European symbols and characters. If you want to look at that box a little bit longer, because it kind of goes away after time, you just click on this question mark here. And then it'll stay open as long as you want it to. And now I can see uh, not only the, what's included in that font, uh, but things like a recommended minimum and maximum size. And so it says this font suitable from 10 millimeters to 76 millimeters or from 0.39 of an inch to about three inches tall. And so if I say apply, it's going to convert the TRE to be the Anna font. Um, so yeah, and so basically this is kind of the basics of text. You select your text tool and there's several text tools that we could learn about. And so maybe what we'll do is we'll just start a new empty workspace and I'll open up um, one of my sort of like Floriani stock designs and put text around it. So now I'm going to use the circular text um, option. And so I click on top of the embroidery and it puts my circular text frame around the embroidery. Um, you have an upper and lower arc, so you can put letters on the upper arc and on the lower arc. And when you click apply, you'll have upper and lower text. Um, you can easily make the upper text uh, closer. So notice the little blue handle, which has now been added to the radius, which will allow me to get the text closer or further away from the uh, embroidery. And the handle on the opposite side allows me to make the text bigger or smaller within the radius that I've set. Um, people often ask me, how do you get a more gradual, what if you want upper and lower text, but you don't want it in a circle? So in that case, what you can actually do is take the word conquer good out and just have the word Trevor go to the edit text mode to be able to move your radius and then move the radius further away from the design and then use your select mode to select it and bring it down. Now, if you want Conquer Good to be in that same radius, same arc, copy it 
And then on the second one that you've copied, change the text from the upper arc Trevor to the lower arc Conquer Good. Oh, I got that. G O O D, whatever. I spelt it wrong. I, no, that looks right. Now it's way down here. I got to kind of select it and move it up. But that's how you can create sort of text above and below and not have them be in a circle. And really, um, you know, if you click to the vertical text, now it's going to put the words my text vertically. All of the same concepts apply. You can go through your letter styles and whatnot and change them. Um, the one thing I do want to talk about with letter styles is some of them have extra options. And so when I start up here and it's just going to be in whatever I used last, breezy, and notice this breezy has a little letter O in front of it. And some of them have BL. BL stands for block. O stands for options or outlines. The little ones with the Floriani F in front of them means... Um, custom made font. I made it. So those ones are the ones that I've created. Um, SC stands for script. AP stands for applique. Um, and so the concept is above here, you've got a font filter. If you just want to see only script style fonts and you choose script from that list, then it will only show you the script style fonts and you could scroll through and change this to a script. Um, but if you go back to all fonts again, you do have those little symbols that kind of help you know oh, BL means that's a block font. Um, there's also fonts that have, some of them are kind of decorative like that. And so, for example, um, Holiday Spirit. No, I'm trying to remember some of the ones that have little, uh, this one here, letter blocks is one. It's got like letter, you know, little symbols above it. This one's pretty obvious. The uppercase ones get the uppercase letters. The lowercase ones get the lower letters. And so um, I'll update that to say Trevor. Uh, but for example, I think there's one called Seasonal. So I'm just going to scroll down and find, so it's alphanumerical, um, seasonal. And notice in seasonal, uppercases get circle ornaments and lower cases get square ornaments. And so if you want to control, uh, if you wanted it to be, you know, circle, square, circle, square, then you're, you kind of go uppercase, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase. That's the way that works. So yeah, um, other things we can learn. So for example, the ones that have the O means there are options or outlines, and that will be found below. So once I change to space age, now I can look and see that there's a default style. There's a run stitch style, an applique style, and a default was run. And so if I go to run and click apply, it will do those letters in a uh, run outline. And if I go to applique, whoops, underneath applique, it will applique those letters. Now, the borders of the appliques are so bold that there's not really any of the fabric that's going to show, but that's because we haven't adjusted the letter size because, you know, the default size may be, you know, 0.79 of an inch, but if you're planning on doing it as an applique, it would be more appropriate to change the size to be larger so that there could at least be some fabric showing. But now what this will do is it will actually stitch this letter one letter at a time, placement line, tack down line, and then the border. And so, yeah, um, there's a lot of things that we can learn about it in text, you guys. And so I thought perhaps to, to avoid a very, very long video, we would do a series of two, perhaps three videos to try and get to some of the more advanced features. And so we're kind of coming to the end of today's video. Um, we've looked at sort of text, horizontal, circular, vertical. Let's look at text along a path. And then we'll leave monogramming for a second video. And we'll get into true type fonts and some of the more, you know, font creation things in another video. Um, what I'm going to do is click on text along a path. And so now we create a text path. You have to basically select one of these text paths. And so, um, you know, for example, I'll just choose the one that's like the double arc kind of thing. And it pushes that, places that double arc down and it puts the letters A on it. Just instead of my text, it just puts A. But you can go ahead and type in whatever it is that you want and click apply. And so now that text goes along my path. And so um, there are many pre-made paths to choose from. Um, you do have the ability. So remember this. This is select tool. Select your text. Now right click to go to edit text mode. Now, first of all, if you use your little blue handles, it will move the hat. Oh, that's not the blue handle. The blue handle will move the text along that baseline. Um, if I right click. 
I can choose a different path, text path choice. And so if you were um, you know, wanting to try something different, we'll do like a spirally one. And so let's find it. It's over here. Um, and again, I'll just pick it up and bring it over to the empty space. And so you can see that it's kind of put the text along a path. And so things we could maybe learn about in, in a follow-up class would be how to create your own um, text path line or how to edit the lines. But for now, it's easy enough just to select a text path and apply your text along that path. Um, yeah, so we'll learn about true type font letters in a follow-up video, and um, there'll be a, all kinds of interesting things. And so I hope you enjoyed today's video, learning the beginnings and basics of uh, creating text using the Floriani software. Um, I don't know if there's anything I forgot for today's video, but I can think of lots of things that I still want to say, but I can, I think it's fine to just rest it for now and look forward to the follow-up video next week where we'll have um, creating text part two. In the meantime, guys, have a wonderful day, a wonderful week. Thanks for listening and bye for now.